Hi there, welcome to TCM everybody, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. In 1968, Barbara Streisand portrayed the multi-talented Fanny Bryce in the musical comedy Funny Girl. The movie was an enormous success, featuring Streisand in a performance that earned her a Best Actress Academy Award. Up next, we have Streisand again playing Fanny Bryce in a sequel made seven years later. From 1975, it's Funny Lady. It's easy to imagine that Streisand would have been excited to reprise a role that won her an Oscar, but that wasn't the case, at least not initially. Streisand was concerned about a couple of things. She feared being typecast first, and also she worried the sequel would be a letdown, as so many sequels are. But then producer Ray Stark had to read the script, and that changed everything. In an interview with Newsweek, Streisand said, quote, The script is really about learning to accept yourself, and that's what I've started doing in my own personal life. Stark went to great lengths to make Streisand comfortable. The co-star from Funny Girl, Omar Sharif, returned to play Nick Arnstein. And Stark also cast some of Streisand's friends, including Roddy McDowell, Ben Vereen, and Carol Wells. To add to the film's pedigree, Stark convinced master cinematographer James Wong Howe to come out of retirement. This was Howe's final film as director of photography. Playing the male lead is James Kahn, a very busy man in 1975. The same year he made Funny Lady, Khan starred in three other films, The Killer Elite, Gone with the West, and director Norman Jewison's sci-fi thriller Rollerball. From 1975, directed by Herbert Ross, here's Funny Lady. 